Howdy everyone, I hope you're all doing okay. Uh, in this video, I want to show you exactly how to adjust the stick tension of an FPV remote controller, basically of a large one. Uh, the process is very similar across most, if not nearly all, of the FPV controllers. In uh, whatever you have, the um, FreeSky X 10S Express as I do, or maybe the Radio Master TX16S or any other one, uh, the process should be very similar. But why you want to readjust the stick tensions? Basically, it's not about the throttle stick because throttle, uh, uh, the tension is removed anyway. It's about uh, the yaw, uh, the pitch and the roll. If you are on mode two, for example, on this ones. Well, maybe you want to fly more accurately or you do a lot of freestyles and the tension is too high. So for that reason, you want to adjust it. I adjusted it not long time ago and uh, at this time I feel this is a bit too loose. So I'm gonna try to tighten in a little bit. So without further ado, let's get started to it. First thing, you're gonna need a screwdriver with a Phillips head and you're gonna have to turn over the radio controller. I'm doing this in the bed because I don't want to remove the sticks from this because I will want to feel after I readjusted if everything is okay. So you need to, the sticks to remain on. So just be careful, don't put too much pressure in it. I'm just gonna do on the bed and that should be perfectly fine. And now let me just remove the four screws. Okay, all the four screws are removed. Next, if you have any external module into the bay, just remove it. And if you would have to remove the battery, you can do that just fine. For instance, with this radio, I should remove the battery, otherwise it's gonna be in the way. So it's just gonna take a second. Now you can open it carefully. Okay, and this is the inside of your um, radio transmitter. It should look similarly. So basically we have uh, those two gimbals. Uh, this is the from the for the mode two should be throttle gimbal. If we turn it around, it's gonna be this one. And this is um, gonna be the pitch on and the roll. So uh, furthermore, from this point, you will need a hex key 1.5 if you can see here, you can do also with a screwdriver hex, hex key, but I don't recommend that. So we're just gonna use the hex keys. And the next step is gone. We have to locate the exact blocks which are responsible for the throttle tension of each specific axis, to say like this. We have right in this point, right here, right this one, this is for the pitch, I think. Yeah, that's for the pitch. This is for the roll, if you can see it. And this is for the yaw. So for example, now if I want to tighten a bit, a little bit, I'm going to turn anti-clockwise because that's gonna put some distance between the block and the structure. And because of that, it, there's gonna create a little bit more tension on the spring. If it's gonna be more tension on the spring, there's gonna be more tension on the yaw. Okay, I can feel it now. I can feel it, it's a little bit more tight. Now let's try to do the roll. So anti-clockwise, a few turns. Okay, that looks a little bit better, but at this time I saw the pitch is a little bit too strong. So I'm gonna turn clockwise now to release the tension from the pitch. And that's perfectly fine. The yaw for me is not an issue. Okay, now turn it around uh, carefully. Try to hold it in your hand and try to feel exactly how it is the tension. Okay, that should be fine for me. And of course, you adjust it per, as per your like. What I like is everything to be as loose as possible because I don't want to put too much effort when flying and doing lots of micro adjustments left right left right roll everything so i just want to have as little tension as possible okay that will be it so hex key 1.5 phillips screwdriver for the remote controller to open it up 
careful with the pins and everything and now i'm gonna put it everything back be careful with uh, the module bay pins when you put it back don't be like me i got a tendency to break things apart okay i can connect the battery back into the bay you don't always have to remove the battery but sometimes it's better to do it so okay and this is it now we have readjust the spring tension of our radio controller okay thank you very much for watching and i hope to see you around